Hey everyone, um, I'll show you how to edit some pictures on your iPhone 4 with Snapseed. Alright, let's see. I know a lot, of been, a lot of people have been asking me about this, so I figured I'd do a video and it'll probably be better. Let's see. Snapseed. No. Yep, right here. And you can get it at the App Store for like $5. But it's really, really, really awesome. Basically, that's what it looks like. And let's see, I'll just use it like this. It's better for me. First, you're going to go open the picture that you want to open. Um, go to ROM. Okay, let's say we're going to work with this picture. I'll do a couple of pictures so you guys, guys kind of get an idea. You guys see this picture right here. Alright, not much colorful, simple, but let's see what we can do. First what I do is I'll go to Drama and click the star. Now there's Drama 1, Drama 2, Bright, Bright 2, Dark, Dark 2. On this one, since we want to bring some colors, we'll go, I usually use Drama 2 or dark too, that's all I use, I don't use anything else but let me show you guys something else alright, um frames which you can select different kind of frames you know which I never use frames center focus basically what it says, you can focus you can do fog, this, lights dark you know dark but once again I don't use that then they have grudge a lot of people like grudge but you know so like that you can just randomly do it and then you can change it swipe it style like there's so many different styles you can do see that but I don't use this so I'll click back let's see then they got vintage you know, some people like that, like old picture. There's so many different styles you can select. But the styles you can change it, I'll show you in few. And then they have black and white. Um, you can select different style of black and white. Like I'll show you, like say you select this one. See? You can make it brighter, darker. See? Contrast before after before after but I don't use that so the only thing I use really is drama okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to drama 2 and I'm gonna slide just to the right I'll show you see where it says just the right and always do like 100% the filter so you can't really tell the difference on the camera but you'll see just see it brings out the details so you do all the way to the right okay 100 then what do you do is you just swipe up you know or swipe down up or down so we're gonna go here and we're gonna bring out the colors look at that look at that but you don't want to do 100 because this is like really colorful not yet so you know it's up to you it depends on the picture of well, this one I'm just gonna stay at like 80 all right now what do you do is if you want to see before and after you just tap this right here see that's what before look like that's after now if you like it you press this and what it does is processing all right so that means we're back to the main menu and now look you can click this right here just hold tap the picture you'll see before and after now what I do after that is I go to to an image here just move up and down and you'll see there's brightness and all these options they have um, brightness and you'll know what you have right here so brightness you can move left on the right left I don't mess with brightness really unless it's like really you know um, dark picture or something I don't really mess with that 
right here this is what I use ambience what, you, what I do is I always do it all the way to 100 you can't really tell the difference but it kind of brighten up the picture and you know shows you the details I use that contrast I really don't use it because that's just too much see so I'll just leave it but then again it all depends on the picture you're working with okay and then color you want to bring it a little bit right there see that's why I said before I didn't want to bring out the colors because I would do it here it's better you see that and then white balance if you want to move it you know there's so many different options you can get just like see but we'll leave it at zero okay all right and press processing and right there okay now what we're gonna do is let's see and then I always do this in the final pictures I press automatic and you can't really see a difference but watch your color correction see that what I usually do is I just press that automatic and just move it a little bit like to 80 or 70 depending on the picture kind of contrasts it a little bit let's say do 60 and press that processing once you do processing you cannot go back so be sure that's what you want all right and then let's see then I'll do details this is like sharpening the image what I do is I just go like that like 25 24 just any random number and then again so basically what I do is I just swipe one finger swipe one finger like that and you can really if you look closer you can tell the diff difference now before then you press that right and the picture is done so look at that this is after okay, before see before what do you look like after and I'll show you let's see if you, you can see it really good see right there all right and then what do you do what are you gonna do is you just hit that and you save it and that's it it's saved